Hello everyone, my name is Carlos Bravo. I work at Canonical as a Cloud Alliances Director. And in this short video, I wanted to show you one of the key features that comes pre-enabled on Ubuntu Pro. I'm talking about ESM or Extended Security Maintenance, which is a service from, from Canonical that extends your support from the basic five years on LTS releases to 10 years of support with, with uh, coverage for all your packages that are on our official repositories, main and universe in case of Ubuntu Pro. Right, and without further ado, let's jump into the console. All right, so here we are at the console. What I would like to show you is a comparison between the free version of Ubuntu Senior 16.04 and the pro version of the same product. Okay, so I'm going to paste here one command that just query using AWS CLI, query for Ubuntu images. Okay, this is Signal 16.04, and then the rest is just uh, formatting, getting the latest, and so on. And okay, so this is the latest AMI. This is the image name, and we get the account number that is publishing the, the image. Please keep in mind that if you are using AWS CLI, you, you can get a lot of MIIs from different people even when they're pub public. Okay, so check the account number that is publi publishing. In this case, this one is from Amazon. If you are getting marketplace images, you, you will get the ones from Canonical. Uh, both are certified and good to go, all right? And the final thing is the date, the, publish, the, the last published uh, date of, of this image, okay? Which is September of last year. And the, we are gonna do the same for Pro version, but I need to change a couple of things because the 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 instance name is different. The image name, sorry. So Ubuntu Pro Server. All right. This is the output. I get the latest image. Again, the the name of the image, sorry, and the same publisher ID, which is Amazon. And if you see the date, it's also September of last year. It's just one day after the, the other. And I'm going to launch. Now I'm going to switch back to the free version. I'm going to launch it. I have a small uh, script that allows me to just do things uh, simpler. Okay, this is just a wrapper for AWS uh, CLI. So I'm, I'm specifying the instant type my security groups, uh, my keeper that I'm going to use, and so on. And I'm going to do the same for Ubuntu Pro. Sorry, launch AMI, and I'm copying. So, all right. And I'm going to pause the video just for the sake of time. All right, so here we have the first instance. Now it's running. I'm going to connect into it and um, there you go i'm going to update the repositories <clears throat> and if you see here we're going to get the result of updates okay only one package is, uh, is available for for uh, update okay which is ubuntu advantage tools nothing related to the server all right so i just launched an, a signal 16.04 Free version and I didn't get any update. This is uh, this is important. Okay, so I'm gonna connect now to the pro version. Remember that it was launched, it was created around the same time. At update, I'm gonna pull the same update as before. And if you see here, I have 52 packages that can be upgraded. Not only one, not just one. I want to say. If you see the list of packages, I'm going to open up this a little bit. Um, you can see kernels, the kernel. You can see, for example, Python 3 packages. Um, you can see uh, Vim tools, other libs, and so on. And they are all coming from, uh, from our ESM repositories. And you can see that these are ESM packages, so security updates. 
Okay, and 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 that, that's it. Um, one last thing that I wanted to show you is that if you call UA, UA is our Ubuntu Advantage client, and you call for status, you will see all the entitlements that you have uh, for Ubuntu Pro. So you can see that you have CIS, which is a, a tool for hardening and auditing your, your server against some security um, standards from the industry. And you get also ESM. Here we have ESM, which is enabled for both, both versions. You have FIPS also if you're running workloads on, on FedRAMP uh, certified servers. Live patch, which, which can patch your, your kernel in real time without needing to boot. And in the pre version, if you do the same, you will see that you have all the services already. They are compatible with your server, but they are, they are available but they are not enabled okay if you want to enable them you need to either upgrade to pro getting a subscription token for ua and so on okay and that's it i hope you have enjoyed the video thanks for watching